Hi, I'm Julia Mabe, and this is your 343 News at 12. As tensions rise with North Korea, the U.S. Air Force is preparing to have a fleet of nuclear-armed B-52 bombers on 24-hour alert for the first time since 1991. The B-52s can reach altitudes of 50,000 feet and fly at subsonic speeds. They have the ability to release varying types of bombs and missiles. The home of these bombers is in Louisiana, and it has accommodated the B-52s to let them take off at a moment's notice. General David Goldfein noted that if people are openly talking about nuclear weapons, it's important to remain alert and prepare accordingly. The Wine Country wildfires have destroyed at least 8,400 homes and other structures in a 245-acre area in Northern California. But those numbers could continue to climb as crews assess more damage and the fire spreads more. Authorities said on Monday, firefighters continue to try and gain control of the fires while crews search for more victims. The wildfires are the deadliest in California's history. The death toll is at 42 as of Monday, and the investigation into the cause of the wildfires is still ongoing. It could be weeks until the details are released. The Sonona County Sheriff's Office has said that they have an arson suspect in custody, but the suspect has emphasized he has no connection with the wildfires. Last week, the A21 Walk for Freedom occurred all across the globe. One of the events took place here in downtown Lynchburg. The mission of the walk is to help bring awareness to the human rights issue of human trafficking. We met with a couple participants to hear how it went. It went absolutely amazing. We had about 75 people show up and I think that it um, brought about a lot of attention from the community and I think that a lot of awareness was raised and there's a lot of great conversations. What's happening in the little town of Lynchburg can expand to many different cities and that one child or one college student or one middle-aged person can get impassioned about this topic and they can take this passion to the next city and then to the next city and to the next city until all across the globe people are fighting human trafficking. If you would like more information on how you can be a part of the Walk for Freedom, go to a21.org backslash walk. And this is all we have for you today at 343 News at 12, and I'm Julia Mabe.